Good morning guys. Welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill. Um, in today's video, it's a bit of a vlog, a bit of an update, show you what's going on in the shop. Um, as you know, I'm always proactive, I'm always trying to improve um, things. Don't matter what's happening, what I'm selling, I'm always looking at how can I improve it. Um, so, as you know, I had a quiet week over Christmas, took the expensive stuff out the window, brought in cheaper stuff, that type of thing. Um, well, now, um, I've made two more little steps. The first is this. I have made gift certificates. Um, they have to be signed, numbered and dated, for them to be valid. And I'll be entering them in my book as and when I sell them. Um, so, nice little bundle. And they come with their own little envelopes. So, you know, they look quite neat and professional for people to give as Christmas presents, birthday presents, anything along them lines. So, yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Now, they didn't come in for nothing, guys. I bought them off Vista Print, and this little bundle here which contains, I think it's 30 gift certificates, cost me £23. Comes with envelopes, but £23 I think it was for 30 gift certificates. Now you're probably thinking, what the hell am I doing paying a pound a piece for gift certificates? Well, uh, truth be said, it's no different to giving a pound discount on an item to get it sold. People come in, they'll buy a certificate, and plain and simple, they'll give them out to whoever, and it'll be wherever they want to spend. So if they want to give a £30 gift, um, then they'll put £30 on the card and people can come in and spend the £30. Now, it has two advantages. If they come in, and because I'm cheap in the shop, they come in and they find a beautiful piece for a tenner and they think, oh, really? Well, I can give them that, they ain't going to know what that cost. And they just spend £10. Whereas with these, the recipient knows exactly what they're having, so the gifter is going to be more generous and maybe gift £20 or £30 or £40, whatever it'll be. So we have a selection of uh, gift certificates. They, they're available on reorder at two days notice. I've put some in the window so when they're looking at all the jewellery they can see I do gift certificates. Um, and we'll see how many there myself. I'm not anticipating loads, but I'll certainly order another bundle or two ready for Christmas. Um, because I had a lot of people last year asking, do I do them? So that's the uh, gift certificate side, guys. There's a way of forcing um, sales. Now, as any of you know who follow my channel, I live with car boot sales. I love car boot sales. I do as many as I can. Buying and selling. I'll sell all the stuff I struggle to sell in the shop or anything I've bought in as job lots that I don't want and I only wanted it for one item. Because you wouldn't believe how many times someone will come in this shop and go, I got a box full of ornaments, but then plonk it down and say, I want to sell the box full. And you'll say, well, no, you want that. And they say, well, I want to sell the box full. And you'll pay them the same money for the one as you would the box. They just want it all gone. So I, I ended up with a garage full of car boot sale stuff. Now, I worked Sunday morning in Bessemer and I had a really good day. Um, I actually think I've sold every tank bar for about 10 now, which I selected out because they were all the Corgi or Dinky ones. Um, and I'm going to put them either on the boot or, back, or in the shop. But anyway, getting back to what I was saying, as anyone knows, I work the car boot sales all the time. I love the car boot sales, whether I'm buying or selling. Um, and using Vistaprint again, I've created myself in uh, plastic, so it's waterproof, this big sign. Now, Gethley Gate is my local car boot sale. Um, which is about three mile up the road. Now, when I set my stall up, it doesn't matter if I don't take no money. I'm in there, I pay to go in anyway, because Gethley Gay got paid to go in. So I'm in there, I got my stall, I'm running around buying, I'm plonking the stuff back in the car. This sign goes up at the side of the car, and all the local people who don't know I'm here, from a five mile radius, all go to Gethley Gay. They have probably 30,000 people in a day, 20,000 people through it in a day. How many of them are gonna read this sign? Only need 1% actually come and buy 
and it was worth it. This sign is two foot by about 18 inches, or two and a half foot by 18 inches, something like that, it's a decent size. Um, and it was £18, guys, £17.99 plus postage, so I think it worked out about £22. You know, waterproof, it's uh, it's not heavy, It's you know, but it is one of those plastic signs. Um, and it's nicely printed, looks good. And it has all the details, it has, you know, shop name, antiques and jewellery shop, 78 Oxford Street, Mountain Ash. Phone, my phone number, open hours. Monday to Friday 9 to 4, 9 to 1 on Saturday, and by appointment on a Sunday. So, what can I say? That's where we're at with these two. Um, I have, I'm really pleased with the sign. Now, I used this Sunday in Bessemer. And I already had a customer come from Bessemer Road, which is Cardiff, which is 20 miles away. Um, and I've had a customer come in and sell and buy off me this week from the boot sale off this strength of this sign. So already it's proven to be a worthwhile investment. So we've got the gift certificates and we got the sign. Now, as you know, I've had trouble selling the more expensive stock in the shop since Christmas. Up to Christmas I was selling some seriously good pieces in the shop. Um, and people, you know, they were coming down, oh, I love that, 500 quid, I love that, 300 pound, whatever. And I found since Christmas, the drop-off rate of dealer items was astronomical. So, I made a conscious decision of putting a cap on the value of anything in the shop um, at 100 pound. Give or take the odd one or two pieces of gold or silver in there might be a bit more, but there's a cap on antiques of 100 pound. Um, so everything above £100 now goes home, goes on the website. But the website isn't producing the sales still. I'm really struggling with my online website and sales. Now I've tried four or five different websites, even dropped my website. I built up a really nice website with loads of information pages and things like that. And I thought, okay, I'm going to go to an e-commerce website. And I went across to an e-commerce website where it was just a homepage and a shop. And I didn't want to do it, right down in, apparently they advertise through Facebook and Messenger and all the other social medias. And you know, it results in a handful of sales a month. It really is just not producing what I want it to produce. I want to be out, summer's coming now, I want to be out there with a couple of thousand in my pocket every week so I can buy every single thing I find. Just call me greedy, I know, but I want to find buy every piece of quality. I want to be able to go mobbing with £5,000 in my pocket, as dull as that sounds to 90% of you I know, um, and come back with some fine pieces. I really do. I love what I do. I love the boot sales where I buy stuff for a pound and sell it for five and ten and twenty pound. No problem with that. I'll still do that all the time. But I want to venture into some of the dearer pieces. Um, so what I've decided to do is I've gone back onto eBay this week but only with the expensive pieces, the stuff that's in the hundreds. Um, I think the first piece I listed was 595. Um, so in 10 items that I've put on eBay, it's over 4,000 pound of asking price or best offer. So I'm gonna slowly but surely transfer a couple of hundred items onto eBay uh, and try it for a month or two and see whether or not I get any results. It's costing me 36 pence a listing. Now, I'm, I'm not like you. I'm not lucky enough to have free listing because I'm a business and a business seller. I have to pay for my listings even on free listing days. I don't qualify. Now, I have a friend that comes in the shop and he's constantly bragging saying, oh, but I don't pay for listings. It, for me, it's listing free and just pay commission if I sell it. And I'm thinking, well, you were lucky. I got to pay. On the 10 I've put on now, it's going to cost me £3.60 plus fat. So... But yeah, I'm going to chuck um, probably 100 on for a month or two and try them, see if I get some sales. If I start getting some success rate and they start going, that money I'm going to put into a pot and that money is intentionally going to go for the likes of Malvin or somewhere like that. I don't really need the money coming off them. Um, I'm more than happy with the smaller change out of the shop and things like that. So that money is going to be purely for reinvestment into more pieces. Um, so I'll keep you posted on how eBay's going, um, or you can watch it yourself. You know, go and have a look and what follow eBay yourself. See if I get any sales. 
I put, as I say, 10 on yesterday and I was even already contacted last night asking the best price on one of the items. So whether that results in a sale or not, I don't know. Um, but no, I'm, uh, I'm getting quite well with the Chinese porcelain now. I understand quite a lot with the export porcelain. I haven't done any videos on the Chinese for one particular reason. I've joined a forum or a website um, called Go The Borg. And if you're learning Chinese porcelain, um, to be totally honest with you, it's the best recommendation I could give you. It's cheap, it's $10 a month. And honestly guys, it has one of the best um, knowledge bases on Chinese porcelain I've ever seen. Now, it has a forum with over a quarter of a million people have posted their items and then had discussions about the items. So you can, let's say for argument's sake, you got an 18th century Qinglong uh, blue my plate. You go on there, have a scroll through. If you can find one, you look at what they've said. Yeah, you got matching the paste and all the rest of it and the colour of the glaze and the painting style and that. And you can read people's comments on the pros and cons as to why they think it is or isn't. And then if you're still not satisfied, you can take a photo and put you was on there free of charge because you're a member. And then all members comment on yours. In the space of two months that I've been on there now, I now understand 18th century and 19th century export uh, porcelain. I've started on monochrome. Um, and when you consider I had a very limited knowledge, um, I'm actually feeling confident that I can go out and date a uh, mid 18th century plate with my eyes closed. I will be doing videos on Chinese at a later date, but at the moment, one of the um, rules on Go the Borg is there is no commercialization. So anything that is said or done on that group has to be kept private um, and you're not allowed to commercialize it. So you're not allowed. I couldn't go on there, value a plate, date a plate, go on like eBay or something and sell it straight away. They don't do that. They don't value stuff for you to sell it or things like that. You go on there uh, for academic studies, for learning the subject, for understanding it. So I'm not allowed. There is no commercial intent whatsoever allowed on Go The Bog, which is why I've stopped the Chinese videos at the moment for the plain and simple reason. I don't expect them to help me date and value plates and understand plates for me to then come and say, that's up for sale or this is this. <coughs> if I buy a piece of Chinese porcelain and I work it out for myself and put it online, that's down to me. For anything they've helped me with, I certainly won't be making videos because I will not jeopardize my membership on this site. It really is a wonderful site, guys. Um, so anybody who's interested in Chinese porcelain, go to the Borg. Seriously, um, and I tell you another one that has helped me quite a bit. If you're only into YouTube videos for learning, because um, I know there's one or two members have been contacting me, then one of the videos, you know, creators on YouTube I've been watching who specialises in Asian art is Peter Coombs. Peter C O B M uh, C O M B S. He's in Massachusetts. And he has videos on there of understanding and dating Chinese porcelain and he shows you the feet and the glaze and he does weekly reviews on eBay, what's good to buy on eBay, what's sold on eBay, things like that. Um, so if you want to learn Chinese, then go to the website or have a look at Peter because genuinely guys, I've been doing between six and seven hours reading a day for the last two months. Um, I've posted 20 or 30 pieces of mine on there and I have the oldest one so far was 1690 to 1700 for a plate and that was confirmed so that's where I'm at with the Chinese I'm learning every single day but I want to be able to go up to Malvin and things like that uh, when I've got six months knowledge behind me with a thousand pound or two thousand pound and I want to go out and I want to buy that pair of 19th century familial rose vases or a Kangzi charger, that type of thing. As rare as they are, I've had people texting me and saying, do you know what, you cannot find real things anymore. Yes, you can. You just have to be prepared to dig in the boxes and look. And if you understand the uh, process of dating and authenticating the piece, then you're going to be there.
Am I there yet? No, I'm not. Am I a lot better than I was? Yes. But I, it's just, I want that thrill. I want to go out there and I want to find that, ooh, you know what I mean? So, that's where we're at. That's why I haven't done any more videos on Chinese porcelain for a while, guys. My knowledge has increased greatly on the subject, but unfortunately, I am tied with restrictions. But, if I go to Malvin and I buy a piece, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> Other than that, guys, I'm going to leave it there. A uh, big shout out to uh, a few, uh, few friends, friends. Uh, you know who you are. I've been asked not to name names, but to give a shout out, so there we go. Right, guys, um, I'm going to leave it there. <clears throat> I would appreciate a like and a share. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know you're subscribed, and I will give you a thumbs up. You'll find me on Facebook. I have a page and a group, Antiques Arena. At the moment, again, you'll find me on eBay, Antiques Arena Clearance on eBay. And I have my own website, antiquesarena.co.uk and antiquesarena.com. Or you can come and visit me in the shop, Antiques Arena, 78 Oxford Street, Mountain Ash, Charlie Fox Road, 45, 3 Hotel Bravo. Or finally guys, you may be lucky to see me at the boot sale on the weekend. Bye for now.